Hey guys, welcome back to Chelsea's Bliss. It's me, Chelsea, and today I want to do a video for you on how I got my van and how much it costs and all of that because I have gotten some videos, uh, people asking me like to talk about like the whole experience and everyone says they're saving up and I just want to talk about that topic because I think it's um, really interesting and how it happened for me is not what you would expect, not what I would have expected, and it worked out for the best. So basically how this started was van life wasn't a concept. I covered this in another video, probably my van tour, something like that. So we were just traveling for work, kind of, for music festivals, and at the music festivals we um saw a ton of people who lived out of their vans a lot of the vendors and people who work for music festivals year after year are like straight up ogs and they have even if they don't live at it out of it all the time they have a weekend warrior which is like a van they've converted to travel on vacations and stuff like that and it was like so plentiful um that it was just really cool like this one guy we met at walmart was like oh bring uh some donations and we'll have coffee every morning and it was so cool because justin and i were traveling out of the area to get coffee every morning to not have to pay the festival prices and it was just interesting we noticed van life everybody was saying that didn't have a van they wish they had a van yada 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 it was like on the brain basically and then we decided after working a few music festivals that we wanted to take a vacation and just go somewhere for vacation in a way. So we chose Colorado, Justin did for sure, and we headed out here. So we headed out here. It was fun for about two weeks. We were climbing mountains, exploring, free as a freaking bird. And then our car started giving us so many problems. Like... When it when we were just done with it was when we got to this epic, epic place in like Boulder, Colorado, around the area. Not necessarily Boulder, but it it's this huge hippie town that someone told us we had to go to. And we were so excited to be there. It was like the coolest spot ever. It's hippie freaking town. And we got there, parked our car, and then tried to take our key out of the ignition and the car was still running. It was like the trippiest thing. And to all you mechanics out there or people who know, I know you could just fix it and yada, 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 but we are not those type of people. We are not gifted in that area. And no, okay? So like all that weird stuff, I'm not gonna get overcharged for the silly little fix and all that. I'm pretty sure it was, oh, it was overheating once in a blue moon and then it would totally stop forever. It was just being really weird. And we had a really good run with her. I actually have, the only picture I have that I can show you is a Polaroid. And it's a little blurry, but this is our little Polaroid book of all of our travels. So whenever you guys meet up with us in person, you'll be able to see this. I'm collecting hella pictures. Um, but that was the Chevy Cavalier. We had this tiny little two-door Chevy Cavalier, if you guys know what that is. So cute. She was cute and she was so good on gas. So for trips, that was great. And we were totally making do. We were camping a lot, so it was fine. But we kind of took that as a sign to trade her in to get a van. So you could always trade your car in if you're not making payments. Even if you are, I'm pretty sure you can return the car. We know an OG. Shout out to Tracy who did that. So you can make it work for you. So we traded our car in for $600 of value to this mechanic. Okay, so our car was out and we left it at a Chevy Cavalier shop where they're like, oh, we're, you're going to have to pay hundreds of dollars, blah, blah. And we're like, this car isn't worth it. So no thanks. So we got onto a Facebook marketplace, which if you're not familiar with is bomb. I know there's let go and offer up and all these apps which are still cool but facebook marketplace is just better for me i think um it just works more seamless 
so Justin was on there. He was looking up um, cars and whatnot, vans, trucks, all this stuff, and that's how we started negotiating with people. There's a lot of mechanics out there or like smaller guys that collect cars, fix them for fun, sell them for profit, this and that. So there's like tons of people that can do work with you. Yes, I've heard recently watching all these van tours and van builds that there's websites specifically for RV trading and stuff like that. Um, this one girl sounded like she got a great deal for $5,000. But other than that, it was like $20,000, $50,000. Like, mm, I'm not ready for that. Maybe you are. Very cool if you are. Um, but yeah, we were able to... One guy we had to turn down because uh, we talked to a mechanic somehow and um, at like an O'Reilly's Auto Parts and he was like, don't get that one because it's just before the year that you need to get, it's like too old basically. And it had some weird thing going on, mechanical thing and it's hard to fix and maintain if you're not a mechanic and familiar with it. But, so we kept looking, told the guy no things, took it really easy, basically after like a day or two of searching, um, we, well, Justin found this really, this van. And surprisingly, I passed right over it when I was looking um, on Facebook Marketplace because it only had one picture. And I know you can ask, you can easily ask for more pictures, but I was like, if someone's not even all there to post more than one picture like you're not doing the best your job you could do and it ended up being right he was a total lame scammer shout out to you bruno bruno in greeley colorado don't mess with bruno his name's robert he goes by bruno he sucks but we got a great deal so that's cool and so we paid six hundred dollars on top of our trading in our van with him he gave us super bald tires and said he had a brand new set of tires and if we wanted it we can come back and pay him um $150 and we drove out an hour to see him with our messed up car he made us wait a day he was just a mess screw these mechanics yo when they're not nice and not fair anyways so we ended up getting this steel in a way. This car is so cute. I know you guys already saw the video of my van tour. How she's white and gold. And it's just so perfect. Love her. Um, and she's been doing really well with us. So we had to get a... So we didn't expect to pay the $600. And then we had to get all new tires. Which it was my first time getting all new tires. I went to Walmart. Walmart is fantastic. We got a whole new set of Wrangler tires. And I feel really cool and rich and blessed and grateful it's awesome love my new tires and yeah that is just the story on how we got our van so to end this off you could trade a vehicle you already have you can trade things get your money up and then get a van a, a sweet number for the young kids that get their first van i've heard is like fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 is what you need. So sell stuff, hustle, do what you gotta do. It is fantastic to have a van. And then you need to do the build, but the build can come over time. We don't even have a bed yet. We're gonna have, we can build a, a bed over these two tire things right here. Eventually, we're probably gonna do that with family because we need support. Okay, we can only, you can only do so much on your own. Okay, it's good to have some backing anywho i just wanted to let you guys know that you can do it too and even if you just wanted to get a van for like your vacations and stuff like that it's so cute and i think everyone should do it you can fit like your family in here get a little tv in here get the electrical goings a little, a little bit of solar it's so awesome go on trips go on vacations I don't know. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think below. And are you into it? Like, would you do this? Oh my god, my my cute little thing is going bye-bye. Anyways, love you guys so much. I'm going to make a new video for you soon. And have a good day. Hope you live your dreams. And you go on a vacation soon. I mean, I know school's back in session, but keep having a good time, guys. Rock on. Mm -hmm.
集啦。